Hey what's up guys, in today's video I'm going to go over the newly data mined atomic shop items that were discovered in Tuesday's update. I will only be displaying items I haven't already showcased in the last video so be sure to check that one out if you haven't already. Shout out to Bungo for providing the images I will be using. The link to his discord and channel will be provided in the description and top comment below. With that being said, let's get into it. I wanted to start off with something that seems to be the most anticipated item alongside the Responders Faction Bundle, which is the Responders Power Armor Paint. I've got to admit, this is one of the cooler Power Armor Paints Bethesda has come up with and the fact that the shoulders light up during the night is a pretty nice touch. Overall, the look is unique and something I can see myself using occasionally. Outside of the Responders Bundle or Theme items you'll see throughout this video, it looks like there will also be a Nuka-Cola Bundle or Theme we can look forward to. One of the new items besides the various Nuka-Cola jumpsuits I showed in the previous video is the Nuka Dark Power Armor paint set shown here. February is around the corner and there are plenty of new items to look forward to if having everything coated in hot pink is something that you're into. It seems we will be receiving a Valentine's Day themed hot pink Power Armor paint set. As far as new camera poses goes, it seems we have one that shows you drinking a beer, as well as some sort of detective badge displaying one. I'm sure a few of you out there will enjoy these for some epic photos throughout the wasteland. Moving on to backpack skins, we have one that seems to be Valentine's Day themed with Cupid displayed on it, as well as a responder's rescue backpack, which I honestly really want to get my hands on. I don't know why, but it just looks good to me. Of course, with a theme coming, we should expect a responder's paint for the Pip-Boy. Moving on to camp items, I start with showing you the large Nuka-Cola and Nuka-Quantum statues. The third photo is a height reference. Here we have Bottle, one of two of the Nuka World mascots with a height comparison to the right. I'm sure there are plenty of you just like Sierra Petrovita that are Nuka-Cola fanatics and can't wait to flood your camps with their merch. Next we have the rotating Nuka-Cola lamp some of you may recognize from the frat house when doing the Biv quest. I also displayed what the animation itself will look like which was also found by Bungo. A new Nuka-Cola rocket ride will soon be available to us and honestly I think this is the best one out of the four we've seen so far. Never saw the point of getting the rides but I just might this time around. Here are four new wallpapers incorporating the Nuka-Cola theme we've seen so far, including Nuka Cherry, Nuka Dark, Nuka-Cola, and Nuka Quantum. Two new beds were recently discovered, a medical gurney which seems to be a part of the responders theme as well as a Valentine's Day themed vibrating bed. Apparently the bed vibrates and also plays this audio when interacted with it. So, you know, <laughs> grab your favorite ghoul or gal and uh, get ready to repopulate the wasteland. Two new variants of the fire hydrant I showed in my last video were found. A blue and gold variant. These will also work as water pumps as you can see by the base. Here we have some heart balloons for Valentine's Day as well as some more responder signs to accompany the ones I previously showed you. More items soon to come include a pristine variant of the Nuka-Cola vending machine, a responders themed stash box, a Nuka-Cola themed freezer, a pink variant of the previously shown Mega Sloth pelt rug, and a responders themed piece of wall decor. As for the occasional plushie, we have a Mr. Fuzzy's Valentine's Day themed variant here to share the love. Three new flag sets have been revealed that accompany the responders theme as well. Next up we have three new Valentine's Day themed wallpapers for those who want to overdose in pink. A new armor workbench, power armor station, and weapons workbench a part of the responders theme have also been shared with the community. 
I think these colorways are pretty nice and I'm overall impressed with how much they did regarding the responders in this future bundle. I'm hoping the Brotherhood and Enclave eventually have a chance at a bundle and it's as well done. Lastly, Fallout First members will be receiving a responders themed survival tent. Looking forward to this one. Bonus items that Bungo found that will be included in the next Fallout 76 update include a responder's cap as well as what appears to be a watchtower you'll be able to place at your camp. That about wraps up this latest Future Atomic Shop items video. There's a lot of pretty cool stuff this time around. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you're looking forward to and can't wait to own yourselves. Don't forget to check out some of my previous Atomic Shop videos as there's still plenty discovered that hasn't yet seen release. If you found this video to be helpful or enjoyable in any way, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you aren't already for more Fallout 76 content like this in the near future. And until next time guys, peace. Wastelanders is coming out soon! Hell yeah!